Alright guys, as y'all know, we caught a bunch of hogs and we're still skinning them out. So Todd is going to teach me how to skin this pig myself. I'm going to try. So what do I need to do? Come just below the ear, cut all the way around the skin. Well shoot, my dang knife ain't cutting. I need a sharper knife. Ah, oh, that's too big. That thing ain't gonna fold up on me, is it? You might. Whoops. You don't lose that. Ooh. All right, guys. Just cut all the way around. That one's sharp now. Well, you didn't tell just me. Just strip it. You just come from work. You cut around the neck, just under the skin. Don't get very deep. You're just trying to cut the skin. Come all the way down. Okay, look. Is this right? Yep. Now go to the back. Go. What you mean the back? The back strip of the Strip it heart? like that. And what do I do? I didn't you cut back it. here. Well, cut back there. Oh, so you got to cut all the way around uh, it. That's what I tell you. Then you skip over about four inches, three, four inches, do the same thing, come down again. Well, he ain't even waiting on me. I ain't got time to wait on you, it's too hot. This might be a big mistake. I learned how to do this. He'll be saying, go skin him hogs. Hey, y'all, Todd's grandma, I never met her. She was much of a woman. Todd's daddy told me, that uh, when he was little, his mama would go out in the woods, kill a hog, bring it back, skin it, clean it, and cook it. And make soap. All of it. You gotta be careful not go too deep because you'll let the guts come out, the intestines. That's what happened to me over here on the other side. This knife's a little bit big. I like to use my little small knife that Jerry's got. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Try right, looking just a second. Just get the hide off of us, what you're doing. There ain't no wrong way to do it, just get it done. It's just practice, is all it is. So, turn your knife upside down. Mm -hmm. Come here, so, turn your knife upside down. Just barely cut over the skin. Let it slide down. You'll feel the knife following the skin. You don't want your tip to go too deep. Do that all the way down and skip over and do it again. Peel it off. You start with your knife on the top, skin it a little bit, and peel down. Oh, I'm going to cut myself. I got some needle and thread that I used to sew my dogs up with. Mm -hmm. And you got some line of cane. Numb you up, sew you up. Ah, meat flopped in my body. All right, y'all. That's how much I got done. I'm burnt out. I told him he can finish it. <laughs> quit on me. I quit on him. It's too hot. I'd starve to death if I had to do it. We tried to scald it, tried to burn it. It's just too hot and it just takes too long. I can do this way faster. That way I ain't got to worry about the meat spoiling. Because it is hot already. It's 80 something degrees and 100% humidity today. All right, y'all. We're going to show y'all after a while when we start seasoning and stuffing the whole hog. So stay tuned. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? We are getting ready to season up this hogs. And uh, 
try to get it uh, ready for Monday for Memorial Day. So this video, are we putting it out Monday or are we putting it out before Monday? Well, no, it's going to be after that because I'm going to smoke it Monday morning. Oh, okay. So it'll be after Monday. But yeah. uh, I'm not a pork eater because I have trouble with blood pressure and stuff. Uh, but Todd is, his mama, and everybody else is. So his mama told me she was going to cook me some Angus patties. Yeah. So I'm special. What I'm doing is we butchered this hog out yesterday. And I'm going to show you all the seasoning that I'm putting it on it to get it marinated and get it ready to put on. I'm actually not putting it on a pit, I'm putting it in my smokehouse. And I'm gonna put it in there and keep my heat up real high in my smokehouse because it's so hot right now. And I gotta use some curing salt and stuff to keep it from spoiling. But I'm gonna show y'all what I put on it and how I marinate it. Okay. All right guys, what I'm putting on here, this one I done done. See how it's kind of a darker color? I'm using curing salt. This curing salt is some very good stuff. You can use it for a little bit of everything. We make our sausage with it, our tasso, everything. It, it only takes four ounces for every hundred pounds. That's putting it in your sausage and stuff like that. What I'm doing with it, I'm sprinkling it over the top of this pork in all the cavities. I'm not stuffing it with it, but I'm just putting sprinkling it all over there. All right, I'm also using regular old brown sugar. I'm mixing the brown sugar all over it, just rubbing it into the meat. And especially what you put on it to make it right, camp dog seasoning. Camp dog seasoning is some very good stuff. The seasoning is perfect for what I like. It's got more pepper, more garlic, less salt. And this stuff is what is gluten free. It's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of everything. You look it up, man. There's no, it's completely gluten free. It's just good stuff. I mean, it's it's perfect for what I cook. And you can use that on anything. I use it in my sausage. I use it when I cook gravies, uh, marinating with it. I use this stuff for everything. There's several different kinds of camp dog. You know, it's got different stuff in it. But I like the original. That's my favorite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season all this up with the salt, the brown sugar, the camp dog. It's going to be in the ice box until uh, Monday morning. Monday morning early, I'm going to put it on the in the smokehouse. And what I'm going to do is rinse it all back off, clean it up again to get some of the salt off of it. Then I'm going to put just camp dog and brown sugar on it. The salt I done soaked into the meat. And that's what... I'm putting the camp dog on now to where it will soak in. Now when it comes time to cook it Monday, I'm going to redo it with the camp dog to make sure it's got plenty of seasoning in the meat. So basically what you're going to do is rinse all that off and uh, to get that curing salt to off. To get the curing salt off that's on the outside. I don't want it too salty. Oh, you can't cook it with the curing salt? Yes, you can, but I don't want too much on it because I'm putting extra on it to make it cure. Oh, okay. It's going to actually make it taste like a ham doing it this way. Mm. And then with the brown sugar, it give it a sweetness taste, and it, it, it changes. You can actually take a turkey and put the curing salt and stuff on it, and it'll make it taste like a ham when you smoke it. Wow. So it's just it's just a combination together works pretty good. But that's what we got planned. That's what we're up to. Hey, y'all. If y'all would like some of this, uh, to purchase some of this Camp Dog seasoning, if you use the code REAP15, you'll get 15% off, and I will leave a link to his website in the description below. Trust me, you can't go wrong with Camp Dog seasoning. Ain't that right, Todd? That's some good stuff. I've been using this stuff for a long time. I've got to know Scott. That's the guy that actually he's making this stuff. He's local, he comes over here, we talk to him. I met him at a local store that we got because of this camp dog. I, I've been using this stuff probably 10 years before I even met this guy. And now we've become friends. He gave us a promotion code or y'all can have some. Guys, check this stuff out. Check his website out. He's got a little bit of everything when it comes to camp dog. The, the seasoning, the mixes for the, uh, was that the little hush puppies? He's got the the fish, fish fry. fry. He's got the hot sauce that you put on stuff. There's a couple different flavors in there. 
He's got some good stuff. Y'all need to check it out. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all something. You see this stuff right here? Take a look at it. Let me tell you something. This is the bomb. I boiled me some eggs and I put me some of this on it. You won't eat a plain boiled egg again if you taste this. I promise you. It's good. That's the green one. It's the jalapeno. Yes. There's also a red. It's the cayenne. It's jalapeno. That, that's our favorite. Yeah. It's jalapeno, but it's it's not that spicy. No. It's good. It's it, got, the flavor is perfect. Yes. You can't go wrong with this camp dog stuff. I'm telling y'all. So use the code REAP15 and you're going to get 15% off. And it's well worth your money. I'm just sprinkling it everywhere. Rubbing it inside the cavities. Make sure it gets it a little bit everywhere. Now the good stuff. gonna be some tender meat does that Karen salt tenderize it a little bit too yes it does amazing stuff to it well it's gonna fall off the hooks in the smokehouse yeah we'll probably have to put it on the on the grill in there because it'll fall apart I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes even though I don't eat pork I'm gonna taste it though I just put it on there and rub it in let's get it all over the place all right. No special amount. Just get it in there. Get it on it. All right. Get that done so we can get it back in the refrigerator. That's right. All right, y'all. How's everybody doing today? Well, today's Monday. It's Memorial Day. I'm fixing to cook them two little hogs. We've been having them marinated for about three days now. I used the curing salt, the camp dog. Well, I washed all that off, cleaned it back up. Oh, I was hoping the camp dog would soak into it when I was doing it. We got it injected in there a little bit. But now I got it seasoned up again with nothing but straight camp dog. I'm going in this pit. This is my smokehouse. I'm using it as a pit today. I got my fire down in the bottom. I got about 10, 15 pounds of charcoal down in the bottom in that pot and I'm using white oak or yeah white oak and one piece of pecan in there but right now I got my uh, burner going in there getting it started once the fire gets started good I'm gonna take that out put my meat on top of the grill I'm gonna get it down to some coals and just keep it smoking and burning light I'm gonna try to keep it around 250 degrees in there and let it cook let it cook for four or five hours six hours whatever it takes i'm gonna cook it for a while and then i'm gonna take and uh wrap it up in the tin foil put it back on there and then toward the end i'm gonna open it up and i like sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce i'm gonna rub barbecue sauce all over it put it back in there again if it comes out it should be ready now i took one quarter off this one of the front quarters and cooked it made a gravy out of it the other day Y'all, it was good. It was very good meat. Let's try this out, and I'm going to show you as I go. I'm fixing to take all this off, let it die down. I'm getting good coals in there now. I'm getting ready to put the meat on there. You guys, you can look around today. It is raining. It is nasty, and it is humid. I got sweat just pouring off of me, and it just broke daylight in the morning. It's just hot out here right now. The reason why I don't smoke and make sausage this time of year it's just too hot you like to bring your temperature down when you smoke sausage and you can't do that in louisiana because it wants to ruin on you it's, it's hard to do i mean you got to watch it real close but like this i'm gonna keep my heat up so it won't be so bad it's 121 
in Celsius. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Alright guys, we've got the fire burning slow on the bottom. Put the meat in there. Let's shut this back up. On 249 right now, I just opened the door, so it's running around 250 somewhere. I'm gonna bring this little gadget right here to the house. I'm gonna sit on the porch and rest a minute. And watch it rain. Let this baby cook. Well, it's still raining. Still nasty. <laughs> it's been a little bit over an hour. I see it's at 354. We're setting on five, so we're running a little bit over an hour. Running 252 degrees. Guys, my temperature kept dropping in there. Uh, I had to fire under it, you know, with the charcoal and stuff, and it, my temperature kept dropping. So what I did is I got my weed burner down in the bottom of the door. It's blowing in there, blowing on a piece of white oak, and it brought my temperature up. So I'm actually using the gas fire to keep the temperature up, plus I'm getting the smoke off of this, the uh, white oak. So we're going to let it go like this for a while and see what happens. Seems to be working good. I'm just sitting there enjoying life and watching it rain. All the animals are in the barn, except for Butterfly and Red. That rain don't bother them and the ducks, they're out in it. All the goats and everything, they, they all cuddle up in the barn. They don't like that rain. First drop of rain you get out there, them goats are gone. They heading to the barn. They don't like to get wet. Guys, I can tell you right now, this is delicious. It is ready already. It's been about two hours. I'm going to wrap it up, put the sauce on it. Oh my God, this is good stuff. It is so tender, y'all. It is done falling apart. Right, guys I got some chicken on there now I got some pork up there I got a piece in the pot right here in this bowl I got barbecue sauce all over me guys this stuff is so good it is very very tender it is done already Woo! I can't wait to get into some of this I'm just getting a snack right now Sure, bear. Oh, that's some fire coming out. Papa! Here's the MJ! Here's the MJ! 
Travis, he'll tell you the truth. Travis, what you think about that pork? It's good. The camp dog was just right? Was just right. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll step out here where I can talk to you. I am so full I couldn't even finish the lemon meringue pie. And I love that stuff. Mama makes it, it's just unreal. But guys, there's some of our family getting together for Labor Day. Having a good old time, just getting together with family. The seasoning on the hog come out perfect. I also did some chicken legs. Tastes like a, I mean, I've, if they're smoked chicken with the camp dog on there and the barbecue sauce. It was fit to, fit to eat. There's very little left in there. They worked on it. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching the videos. God bless. Happy Labor Day to everybody. Bye-bye.